Hello and welcome to an exciting new episode of Grin Reviews. Today's episode, Berserk on the Atari 2600. What we're looking at right now is the cover of Berserk for the Atari 2600 and I, I know what you're all thinking. Is that Keith from Voltron? Why yes, I believe it is. A better question is, why is that Keith from Voltron? And honestly, I cannot answer that. This game was sent to us by management without a manual or a box, so aside from the image that we have on the cartridge, we don't have much to go by. But I assume you play as Keith from Voltron, and you fight robots, and honestly, as far as storylines go, I can get behind this one. But I know only a small portion of my viewer base is content to only look at the cover out of the cartridge, so let's get to the gameplay. The first thing you notice for Berserk on the Atari 2600 when you turn on the game is the vibrant color choice. The blue on black stands out perfectly and all the other characters are also perfectly visible. It is perhaps, through its simplicity and vibrant color choices, the most beautiful game I've seen on the system so far. In many ways, Berserk plays quite similar to Halo 2600, and in many more ways it does not. So let's explore them now. The first major difference is the simplicity itself. When you look at Halo 2600, your little green character does look like the Master Chief you see on the cover. However, when you look at Berserk, your character in game looks nothing like the Keith you see on the cover. While I do prefer the walk cycle in Berserk over that of Halo 2600, I don't like how it appears to have a hula hoop appearing in its midsection every step it takes. On top of this, while the Berserk character's design does look cool, it causes a minor glitch where the enemy's shot can pass between the hole between your head and body. This does not seem right to me. And once again on the subject of simplicity, Halo 2600 sees you fighting a horde of different kind of aliens, while Berserk only has you fighting against two different kinds, the robots and the giant terrifying smiley face. And when it comes to directional shooting in Halo 2600, the bad guys can shoot in all directions while you can only shoot left and right. But over in Berserk, the bad guys can only shoot up, down, left and right while you can shoot in all directions. However, neither of these choices are really better. I mean, in Halo 2600, you have the advantage of being able to strafe and fire, while in Berserk, you have the advantage of having more angles to shoot from. So really, you just have to adapt to either choice, and both of them work well in their respective games. It would, however, be completely awesome to see a fight between Keith from Voltron from Berserk versus Master Chief from Halo 2600. I would pay big money for ringside at that fight. Another similarity these two games share is the movement speed of the enemies and their bullets, which increases every room you go to. This is perhaps where the similarities end, with the core gameplays of both games being completely different. In Halo 2600, you have a set goal, and once you complete the goal, you reign victorious. Over in Berserk, however, there is no victory conditions. You simply have the goal of surviving as long as you can, and, in all games, eventually the inevitable crushing defeat will catch you and destroy you. In this respect, Berserk is much more like real life than Halo 2600 is. There are many different game variants within Berserk that change the difficulty of the game. My favorite to play is variant number 9, which is the hardest as far as I can tell. Number 9 greets you with a quick difficulty curve with the enemy's fire and movement speed increasing vastly each screen. It also gives you no extra lives for the points you gain, and the evil malicious smiley face is indestructible. These elements combined result in very quick gameplay as you cannot really last very long at all. This is great if you're playing with a friend because it means the controller will be constantly rotating. All in all, playing this game was quite a blast and I highly, highly suggest you get down to your local video store and pick up a copy of Berserk on the Atari 2600.